Judge Katanji with her sexy chocolate. Judge Katanji. Judge Katanji, my sister. Judge Katanji. How did you end up with a puppy, my beautiful African queen? Can somebody tell me how Judge Katanji ended up with a Neo Neanderthal as your lifelong partner? How did you do that, my sister? You are gorgeous. Chocolate, thick, curvy, beautiful skin, natural hair. How did you end up with a puppy? How, Judge Katanji? How? Damn. We already got Clarence Thomas bunny hopping on the Supreme Court. We already got Clarence Thomas bunny hopping. Now, Judge Katanji with her fine self is also bunny hopping. And Sister Corinne Pierre, my dear White House Secretary, Sister Corinne Pierre, my dear White House Secretary, Sister Q Corinne Pierre, I heard you been rainbow ganging as fine as you is, girl. With them eyes and them lips and that nose and that smile. What are you doing? Are they giving y'all a shot? They must be giving them some type of Negro peeing shot. What is it with you Washington, D.C. elected federal officials, man? Two fine ass black women. And they not going to tell me they couldn't find no man. Oh, no. Judge Katanji, you are not going to tell me you couldn't find a black man. No, 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 as fine as you is. Corinne Pierre, nah, uh-uh. You got a damn snow bunny. Corinne, are you crazy? You are from the revolutionary island of Haiti. You're supposed to be representing the Haitian African people. And you got the nerve to have a damn snow bunny. Sister, come on. Y'all disrespecting the chocolate people. What's going on in D.C., brothers and sisters? Oh, they beautiful. Judge Katanji, if I ever see her on the street, I'm going to give her a big hug and kiss on the cheek, and I'm going to say, come back to the black man. And if I see Sister Corinne on the street, I'm going to give her a big hug and kiss on the cheek, too, and say, come back to the black man. Oh, yes. Don't let me run into the White House press secretary. Oh, no. Don't let King Kong run into the White House press. Don't you let me run into that black Supreme Court justice. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They getting a hug and a kiss, and I don't care if they don't like it. I'm going to put it all on my social media. Y'all got hugged and kissed by the new Malcolm X, and I'm going to tell your boss. I'm going to say you got hugged and kissed by the new Marcus Garvey, and I'm going to tell your boss. You got hugged and kissed by the new George Jackson. I'm going to tell your boss. Brothers and sisters, there is a documentary on YouTube. I want everybody to go to YouTube. I want everybody to go to YouTube. Frontline is the YouTube page. Go to Frontline PBS. Frontline PBS. I want all of you to go to Frontline PBS on YouTube tonight, brothers and sisters. And I want you to watch the Clarence and Jeannie Thomas documentary. Please 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 watch the Clarence and Jeannie Thomas Frontline PBS on YouTube. Frontline PBS on YouTube. You must watch it. If you want to see why Clarence Thomas is such a self hating Negro pen, you have to watch this documentary. Lord have mercy. This documentary is a psychological expose on Clarence Thomas. They talk about he was abandoned by his parents. I'm not making fun of him. I want to be clear. I work with kids who were abandoned by their parents. Clarence Thomas was abandoned by his mother and abandoned by his father. 
He never fit into the black social circles when he was a child and growing up. Clarence Thomas was picked on and bullied for being dark skinned and they called him unattractive. This is what black America did to Clarence Thomas. This is what we did to Clarence Thomas, brothers and sisters. This is what we did to Clarence Thomas. We made him hate himself. I'm going to say it again. Black America made Clarence Thomas hate himself. Abandoned by his parents. Picked on by black people for his skin and features. Did you know Clarence Thomas was either a member of the Black Panther Party or was close to it? Did you know Clarence Thomas was a member of the Black Panther Party or close to it? Did you know Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas was either a member of the Black Panther Party or close to it? Brothers and sisters, Clarence Thomas needs some deep healing. He is the perfect example. Just because you are considered a success does not mean you have succeeded. Just because you are considered a success does not mean you have succeeded. Just because you are considered a success does not mean you have succeeded. I feel sorry for the man, but he's still an enemy from African people, so he's still an enemy for me. I feel sorry for Clarence Thomas. Watch that documentary so y'all can see how this man, you know why he don't want to look out for black people? Do you want to know why Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas doesn't want to look out for black people? You know why? Because as far as he's concerned, black people didn't look out for him. Clarence Thomas is on a mission to make black people suffer for making him suffer. I'm going to say it again. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas is on a mission to make black people suffer because he has suffered, brothers and sisters. This is why we got to stop abandoning our children. We got to stop bullying black people. We got to stop talking about black skin, which is a blessing, which is a blessing. Dark chocolate, the color of God, which is a blessing. Judge Katanji, Corinne Pierre. It's a blessing to be chocolate. I wish I was chocolate. The original color of man, the color of the universe, the color of the soil, the color of God. It is a blessing. But when you beat up on black people, when we mistreat black people, they develop trauma. Clarence Thomas suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder from being victimized by his very own black community. Clarence Thomas suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder from being victimized by his own black community, brothers and sisters. It's a shame. It's a shame. It is an absolute shame. 